Shot. What's up you guys, your boy Trader Pro here with another video. Here with a different type of video. I don't think I've ever done a video like this before. Maybe, probably didn't, I don't remember. Anyway, you guys, if you like this video, I'm gonna say it now before the video and after the video. Subscribe for more, see you. See you in the comments, talk about your favorite part of the video. Tell me what videos you wanna see. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So this video is basically going to be my, right now, relatively my favorite times of retro Pokemon figures I have in my collection. Some of them are brand new that I got in my collection. Not brand new, I've just recently gotten them. Other times um, I've had them and I've just basically liked them more as time goes on. But yeah, let's start this off with, I think there's about what is it, like five or six, maybe 10 of them. Let's start off with number one. Number one is the Jack Pacific 2000, I think seven Medchamp. This is from the, it's a three pack from the Diamond and Pearl series of Jacks, mid 2007, mid 2006. These figures are probably what got me started collecting Pokemon figures back when I was a kid. This figure has good articulation for his time. He has a head swivel, got the body swivel. Um, more or less, I would like it to have an arm swivel, but it's older. You know, it'd be better if the legs can move, you know, it's a fighting psychic type Pokemon. But this Pokemon is really awesome. I recently got it, I think a couple of weeks ago, off of eBay, had to clean it. Clean your figures if you get them off of eBay, please. You don't know where they've been or who had them, so please clean them. Anyway, let's get to the next figure. And now we're gonna get to a three pack I recently got. You got the, I think this is the Johto series um, three pack from um, Hasbro or Jack. I think it's Jack's, might be Hasbro. You got Porygon, you got Fan Feet, and you do have Chikorita. Now Chikorita, put these two first down on the side. Chikorita does, is a silver figure. That's basically because it's like they had a thing going on where like I think one or one of every figure and like the set probably be silver. You had shiny figures going on. You had the shiny Tyro, you had the shiny, um, uh, the female variant of uh, Heracross, which I have a male variant. I don't have a shiny female one. Hopefully I have it later on. But these figures were amazing. I mean, I personally am not a fan of Chikorita, but these were from 2010? Are you serious? It was from 2010, okay. Well, they're from Jack Specific. Probably a little bit of flashback figures. And Chikorita's had enough shine. We also have the Porygon, the first Porygon form. They do also have a Porygon Z and I think a Porygon 2, but I'm not sure. But this Porygon is articulated, has the legs going move backwards. The tail does come off, but it's supposed to move backwards. It does peg on and the head moves up and down. Recently, Jazzwood has announced they're going to do a Porygon, the same one. I'm curious to do a comparison on that video, but if you guys want to see me do a comparison, leave a like and comment and subscribe. But um, yeah, Porygon, this is probably my favorite Porygon figure right now. Can you stop moving? And then you do have Fan Feed. This is, Fan Feed is one of my favorites. I do like Dawn Fan a little better, but you know, Fan Feed's cute. As you can see, Fan Feed has all the details. This is what I liked about Jack's figures. They always had like 3D details instead of like some Tommy figures that just got painted on. But um, Fan Feed does look awesome. I think this is, this is the same pack. This one's a little older though. I think this is like an anniversary thing for Johto. But Fan Feed does look awesome. Little toes painted on. It's an older figure, so you know where and tear will be a, a liability in them. Let's get to the next couple. Now get to the next star. We do have two other figures. Um, I have, a, let's start with Geodude. Geodude is an older figure. I got it recently from eBay. This is a bigger figure. Like this is way bigger than most of your normal figures. Like if I do a size comparison, you see a War Turtle from Jazzwares. It is way bigger than that, arms up. But this figure is um, very good for its size. I mean, you can do a thousand things with it. The arms are articulated, so it's like a punching, you can do punching movements like that. And then Geodude's eyes are very big. And I think this is from like 2000, was it 2007? Same Jack specific, Diamond and Pearl series around that time. And it's just awesome. Um, you don't really see a lot of figures like this. Let me put you do to the side right here. And you do also have Hitman Top. Now Hitman Top is um a special figure because it's from the Johto Battle Action series. The I think that might be the first or second wave of battle action figures from Pokemon. But basically what you did was put it on the ripcord, which did break its old. It's from like 2002, 2002, 1995, 2001. It's older than most of the people. Um, a lot of people actually that love Pokemon now, but this is a bigger figure. Like, um, for instance, here's the Jazzwares Select Series Typhlosion. This is only relatively around the same size. It's bigger than most of your figures, but this figure is awesome. It's articulated, the arms are articulated, the legs are articulated, the feet are articulated, the, are, the tail's articulated, and like basically he's supposed to be like a top, so he spins around on the top. But yeah, I love Hitman Top. Now, somebody tell me why Hitman Top is four foot seven in real life. But anyway, we're gonna put Hitman Top back here. It's hard of standing up. 
I'm gonna put them right back here and let's get to the next few. So basically the next few figures are, this is probably one of my favorite fire type figures that I have in my collection, which is Numa. This figure is amazing, it's massive, number one. Um, uh, just for relative size comparisons, you do see the Jazz wears um, Rose, Rose Rosalina, Rosalia, Rosalia, that's how you say it, and it's massive compared to it. Um, this figure it has articulated head, that's about it, but normal doesn't really need much articulation. It's from Jack Pacific 2007 or 2006, maybe 2007, because it's from the Hoenn era. It has a port right here. I mean, I think you can get like a fire effect from somewhere and just put it in there, but it does have all the details. It's really nice. Um, I don't know. I love Numa and I love camera up. I wish they had a camera up around this size, but uh, shoot, it is what it is. I love Numa. You should guys, if you ever get a chance to get that figure, you should get it. But we also have Axew from the Jack Specific line. This is around black and white time. I think this is around 2010, I'm not sure. Doesn't have anything on it, but these are from, this is from the Battle Attack series that came with the little stands. Um, relatively awesome figure. It's a little big, like compared to Togepi from Jazzwares, it's relatively big, but they are coming out with a, a actually from um, Jazzware, so. But this one will do, like the little tusks are soft and like no articulation, but it is soft. Big eyeballs, actually was awesome. Let's get to the last or last three figures. So one of the last three figures you do have this deluxe Squirtle, and just for a quick, I don't know if I have a Squirtle up here. Hold on, give me one second. I think I do have a Squirtle in the drawer. For size comparison, this is much bigger than your average Jazz World Squirtle. This is probably the biggest Jack specific Squirtle we have to date, but this is more or less like from old Canto vibes, 2001, 2002, maybe 2003 is Jack specific. The tail's articulated, that's about, no, the head's articulated too. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. And I had this figure like two days. Yeah, but this figure is awesome. It's more or less like one of the action poses from the anime. The Squirtle looks awesome. The Squirtle is probably one of my favorite Canto Pokemon. This is probably second favorite starter mostly because Bulbasaur rules. But also we have my favorite, one of my favorite, if not my favorite fire type Pokemon in, in uh, Darmanitan. This figure is amazing, Jack specific from the black and white days. Cause obviously Dark Manitan's from the black and white days. But you do have um, Darmanitan here with his big muscle arms, his creepy smile, I love it. And the fire on his hair. This figure just for relative size, you do have a uh, Psyduck right here. So he's a little bit bigger than Psyduck. And this figure is awesome. I wish we can get like a, 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 a Pokemon Jazz or Select figure of this guy with relative size to him because I wish like I, I just need it. Dear Man Tales is probably my favorite non-starter fire type Pokemon. But yeah, guys, this figure is amazing. I have one more figure to show you guys, and this one's quite legendary. Now to show you, this figure is an understatement. Uh, let's move this to the side. It is Zekrom from the black and white, um, I guess you would call it like promotional figure things. You focus. I right, focus. Zach Rom is awesome. If he would just focus. Okay, there you go. Zach Rom is awesome. This is a relatively around six feet, not six feet, six inches. Articulated in the arms. There was a, a Rush or Shiram, um, Rushiram, Rushiram. I don't know how to say that. I forget. Uh, there was, there's an alternate figure for this. I have yet to get it. When I do get it, I'll probably do a legendary figure review for these two. But now you just get a quick look inside. This figure is amazing, and for a relatively size, the uh, size comparison thing, let's grab um, on the Groudon, the Titan figure from Tony. You see how massive Groudon is compared to him. He's relatively small, but he's supposed to be, I think, exactly Groudon's about like 20 feet tall. And okay, there goes Arcea. Um, and then Rekron's about nine feet tall, which is probably one of the smaller legendary Pokemon. The only one gripe I have with this figure is number one, the hand, the arms move with the wings, so. If you're doing stop motion, you have to kind of fudge that in. But other than that, this figure is awesome. Let's see the tail. I wish the tail was kind of light up too. Uh, 2011. Oh, and then I also do think Tomy, when Tomy got the license right after these were made, I do think um, Kirum was made, like the black, white, black two, white two Kirum, and then the regular Kirum. But that's another question or another review for another day. These figures are amazing. Um, if you ever get a chance to get in these figures, I would highly recommend getting these figures because these are legendary. Legendary in own right. Yeah, don't like the pun, take it. But anyway guys, if you love this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And if you like more or less more like videos like this, let me know and I'll do more of them. Anyway guys, keep it training.